In the Republic of Nauru, the European Union funded Global Climate Change Alliance Pacific Small Island States project that is being implemented by the Secretariat of the Pacific Community SPC is jointly working with the government of Nauru to ensure that the people of Nauru have access to secure and safe drinking water. The project is working with the Nauru Department of Commerce, Industry and Environment CIE, and the Nauru Utilities Corporation NUC to help build the country's resilience against the impacts of climate change and climate variability on Nauru's water security by improving household rainwater harvesting systems and national storage systems of desalinated water. The project will contribute to enhancing water security in Nauru, particularly during times of drought. Nauru is a small island developing state with a land area of 21 square kilometers and a population of just over 10,000 people. In previous years, Nauru had a thriving phosphate industry which provided employment and economic growth. However, the primary supplies of phosphate were depleted in the 1990s. And now there is just a small secondary phosphate mining industry contributing to the country's economy. The government of Nauru is now the main employer. Other employment opportunities are found in the fishing and construction sectors. Nauru's geography makes it susceptible to risks associated with climate variability and climate change. These risks include extremely varied rainfall patterns and prolonged drought periods which could last as long as 36 months. Basically we got three main sources. The major one is RO system where we're producing close to about 2 million litres a day. That's provided if we are being able to run all the three RO plants. On the other side would be basically rainwater catchment and uh, the other one is uh, the breakage water, underground water system. For production system in Aros, it's fairly expensive. Then the other thing is we have to deliver to the communities. So that is a constraint at this stage. Mm -hmm. It's like last two weeks we had a bit of a drought and we we're expecting this drought will be a longer one. And uh, fortunately we had rain, but during those two weeks, our demand just went up, like uh, including RPC and NUC, uh, close to about 900 kiloliters a day. If we don't have the electricity supply to the ROs, then the ROs are not running at all. But the, there are problems with the water lines. The problem with the water lines is actually um, there are a high level of uh, bacteria that has been uh, contributed from uh, uh, you know, the poor sanitation systems as well as uh, the salinity level to it. But they do have access to the groundwater, but it's not, not for, uh, for drinking purposes or anything. It's more like just an alternative for uh, water use, like for toilets and uh, laundry and washing and other things. But uh, very minimal in terms of uh, drinking, using it as a drinking water. In 2012, the Nauru government identified water security as a top priority for disaster risk and climate change adaptation efforts between 2013 and 2014, the project also assisted Nauru in the preparation of the Republic of Nauru Framework for Climate Change Adaptation and Disaster Risk Reduction, RONADAPT. RONADAPT also prioritizes water security as a key activity. The SPC GCCA PSIS project is working with the Nauru Utilities Corporation, NUC, and the Department of Commerce, Industry and Environment, CIE, to help improve Nauru's capacity in rainwater harvesting and storage of national desalinated water. In July 2014, a feasibility and design study was conducted to assess options for increasing Nauru's national water storage capacity. As a result, the Nauru government opted to demolish an obsolete decommissioned national water storage tank, B10, and to construct a new 4 million litre water storage tank. Demolition of the B10 tank will start in July 2015 and is being undertaken by a local contractor. 
This will pave the way for the construction of a new water storage tank in the future. Besides national water storage, the project has also contributed to the improvement of individual rainwater harvesting systems. In 2013, the GCCA PSIS project funded a roof assessment technical survey which covered a total of 1,077 households. The roof survey was actually done in two parts. The first part was done through the community. They identified the um, households with the damaged roofing and um, guttering downpipes. And then we hired a local contractor to provide the technical um, assessment for us. A key part of the project is building the capacity of the Naurun communities in water conservation and awareness of climate change and its associated implications. In April 2015, the Secretariat of the Pacific Community conducted a Water, Sanitation and Hygiene WASH Training of Trainers workshop for 20 participants from various government sectors, private organizations and youth groups. The participants are now equipped to carry out the WASH training in their own communities and also implement water safety and conservation exercises themselves. The training is, uh, I think it's relevant. Um, it is very relevant to um, to what we uh, around the community, like uh, the issues surrounding health. Um, sometimes we we have outbreaks with young children and uh, in the general population in the public uh, with uh, outbreaks of uh, sicknesses such as diarrhea and and other other uh, water related uh, uh, sicknesses. The isolated and geophysical nature of Nauru makes transportation, loading and unloading of cargo a very difficult undertaking. This has serious implications for the timely implementation of any infrastructure project. The biggest challenge with our port is because it's an open port, it's not sheltered. So our, our operations relies on the weather. It's, it's very hard when it's the moving when, when the current is moving around and yeah and the swinging of containers gets very dangerous sometimes but the challenge is to get him on the barge first um, at the same time we use a mooring system um, currently the mooring systems are down so the vessel we were working uh, for the last few years was more like on a drift discharge which is very difficult and very slow Future projects in Nauru must factor into the planning and design components the need for extra time to cater for challenges and delays that are very likely to be encountered during transportation, loading and unloading periods. <laughs>